So the NBA released the primetime schedule for opening week and the Christmas Day slate of games. And the Bulls, unfortunately, are not a part of those teams. Did we get snubbed? Should we be mad about it? Eh, let's talk about it. I'm Ross. This is Arturis Fan Club. And yes, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are making Bulls content every other day now because I need a little bit of a break and things are slowing down anyway. But whenever there's breaking news, I hop on here um, and we'll do live streams sporadically as well. But thank you guys for all the support. And hey, if you want to support me even more, we have the Arturis Super Fan Club. It is only $4.99 a month. You get early access to videos, emojis, badges, exclusive chats with me, and exclusive video content. I just released an exclusive video for the Super Fan Club doing a film study on Maxi Kleba's defense should the Bulls end up trading for him. Uh, so that was a fun little breakdown that we did. I get to use game footage for those videos that I can't use on the main channel uh, for copyright reasons, but make sure to go check that out. Only $4.99 a month. And also, I put up some new items in the Arturis Fan Club merch shop. And that's ArturisFanClub.com slash shop. Uh, a bunch of cool new stuff up there. So make sure to go check that out. And once again, that stuff supports me directly. So if you guys like the stuff that I do, if you want to represent Arturis, you want to represent my channel, uh, that's the best way to do it. So thank you guys again. And let's get back to what I was originally talking about, uh, which is there will be no Bulls primetime game opening week for the NBA. There will be no Bulls on Christmas Day, which, look, in a vacuum, it's not that big of a deal. We have not been good enough recently to warrant being a part of these slate of games. I get that. I understand that. The Bulls back in the day, you know, when I was growing up, uh, they were on Christmas Day almost every year, pretty much every year, um, and frequently on on the primetime schedule for opening week. But here, let's just run through this schedule real quick. Um, so opening night, you've got Nets and Bucks, Warriors and Lakers. Next night, you've got Celtics, Knicks, Nuggets, Suns. Next night, you've got Mavericks, Hawks, Clippers, Warriors. Next night, you've got Nets, Sixers, Suns, Lakers. So, you know, as a Bulls fan, I would, a biased Bulls fan, I would love to see my team here. Um, you know, it's it's a really exciting time to be a Bulls fan. I understand that people are going to come and say, well, you guys haven't done shit in years. Yeah, but like we're doing shit now. We, we've signed very good players. We've made very good moves this offseason. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with my hair because I just took a shower. I'm trying to get it right. Uh, <laughs> not camera ready, but the Bulls have made huge additions. Uh, Chicago is the third largest market in the NBA and the first largest single team market in the NBA. Um, obviously in New York, you have two teams in LA, you have two teams. Chicago is the only, the third market, but the only market in that list that only has one team. So when you, when you take a step back and look at the excitement among Bulls fans right now, um, you know, more than just the cash, more than just the hard, the diehards like me, you've got the casual fans coming back to the team excited again. And this would be, in my opinion, a great opportunity uh, to capture those fans and, and get them excited for the season. You know, it's opening night, like opening night. I feel like the Bulls should be here. Um, but, you know, back to the thing that we had just talked about, about how some fans are going to argue that, you know, the Bulls haven't done anything in recent years and blah, 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 blah. I, you know what? I, honestly, I feel like that is such an it's I don't know. It's such a stupid narrative and it's it's blown out of proportion. Um, you know, like you've got you've got the same teams playing multiple times this week, right? Like you've got the Lakers twice. Uh, you've got the Suns twice. You've got the Warriors twice who didn't even make the playoffs last season. So and the Nets twice. So like you could have fit the Bulls in there somewhere, you know? I, I guess that's my only issue with it is that there, there's opportunities here to give the Bulls an, a, a chance on prime time, um, something that I feel like would be good for the NBA. Uh, and that's the question that a lot of people always ask, like, why, do they, why does the NBA hate the Bulls? I don't know if they hate the Bulls. I don't know if it's a narratives thing. I don't know if maybe there's numbers that they're looking at that we're not seeing. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure that, that audience retention rates for the Bulls weren't great the past few seasons. That makes sense. But like, you've also got to look at the context, the fact that things are different than the last few seasons. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I'm sure there's a reason I'm not privy to, but to me, I feel like you have an opportunity here. Uh, there, there was an opportunity looking at this list uh, to fit the Bulls in somewhere, uh, at the very least, to replace one of the teams that plays twice. Um, and you know, like a nice, 
Bulls Knicks or Bulls Celtics game would have been really exciting. You know, people love those those old school rivalries. Um, it'd be cool to try to reignite them. Um, and I actually got into it a little bit with Celtics fans on Twitter uh, because I was saying, you know, the Bulls beat the Celtics twice last season. And I feel like the Bulls should, after the moves they've made this offseason, the Bulls are probably better than the Celtics now. And I know Celtics fans are going to come at me and they're going to yell at me. And you guys are fans of your team, so that makes sense. You guys are going to defend. You guys are going to defend your team. Um, and obviously, in recent years, the Celtics have done way more than the Bulls. But in my personal opinion, this offseason, the Bulls got better than the Celtics. The moves that the Bulls made, and the Bulls were already, in my opinion, not too far down below the Celtics last season. Um, once again, the Bulls beat them twice. Once without Zach Levine. I understand the Celtics were a little banged up too, but Zach Levine is our is our best player or was at that time like the only guy doing anything for us uh so a little bit different circumstances when he's out versus when you know evan fournier is out or jalen brown is out um so that's opening week there's also part of me that's like well maybe it's a good thing in case like we still have some growing pains and we're not quite prime time ready uh, which maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason the NBA didn't want the Bulls on primetime opening week. Maybe the the, the, thought pro the thought process was, well, they, they're still gelling. They're still trying to figure their stuff out. We need to see uh, if this team is actually for real, legit, legit. And by the way, the, the full uh, complete game schedule for the season will be released on Friday. Uh, so look out for that video. But moving right along, Christmas Day. And here's another opportunity that I feel like the Bulls should have gotten because the bulls once again in my in my life in my childhood um and even into some of my adulthood the bulls were a staple on christmas day i've been to a bulls christmas day game at the united center so i look at this and I, i'm disappointed i am you know, just as a fan of the team it it, it makes me kind of mad because i feel like we've made the necessary moves to put us back in that conversation i mean they put non-playoff teams on christmas day before that's not a new thing they've done that in the past um and once again i go back to what i said about the celtics um i drew the ire of a lot of celtics fans on twitter because i said they put the celtics on christmas day but not the bulls now, mind you, I would love to play the Celtics on Christmas Day. Like, that would have been fun. Um, you know, red versus green, like Christmas Day. Like, that would have been cool. Um, alas, that's not what happened. Celtics Bucks is a cool matchup, but I just way, way would have preferred seeing the Bulls on this list. Um, and once again, I get it. I understand it because the Bulls haven't been great. Uh, the Bulls missed the playoffs the last few seasons. And yeah, it just have not been the most fun to watch. But once again, I go back to the fact that things are different now and things are exciting now. And I, I would have liked to see the Bulls here. But I mean, all in all, overall, like it's not a huge deal. Um, it's not something that I'm going to lose sleep over, but it's a little bit of a chip on our shoulder. You know, it's, it's one of those reminders that like they still don't take us seriously, even after all these moves. And maybe they shouldn't. You know, maybe there's a, an argument to be made that like just because you've made the moves, we still need to see it actually happen on the court. It's totally valid. We need to see it happen on the court. I just think from a marketability standpoint, uh, Chicago is is a, honestly such a huge basketball town. I mean, we're talking about the Chicago Bulls. You know, the city of Chicago that had Michael Jordan won six championships. We're talking about the city of Chicago that had Derrick Rose in the Bulls and in the playoffs for, for half a decade, Joakim Noah. Like we're, we're talking about a huge, huge NBA city. And it just kind of sucks that like we're back, but they don't really see us as being back quite yet is kind of what my vibe is you know like like you and i bulls fans we, we get it like we feel like we're back uh but from the, the national perspective it's it's still kind of disrespectful um or at least they don't they don't believe it yet they don't buy it yet so we're gonna have to prove it and that that's what this told me is that uh the the way that we feel about the bulls is not the way the nba sees the bulls and so we just have to prove it and that's what we're going to do this season uh we are going to prove to the rest of the league that we are for real for real um not a whole lot new uh, other news to to really discuss at the moment like i said uh we're waiting for that 
complete game schedule to be announced on Friday. Uh, Patrick Williams was announced as, what is it, Summer League, All Summer League second team, I think it is. Um, and you guys probably saw the Bulls uh, crushed the Hornets in their last summer league game. I'm going to work on a full summer league recap here pretty shortly to, to kind of recap everything we liked and didn't like. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, not a whole lot going on right now. Uh, just waiting for Lori marketing news. That's kind of the, the next domino that we need to see fall. So whenever that happens, you guys know who, uh, who to go to for some information. Cause I'll be covering it. Um, but for now, I guess we'll talk, again soon. Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to join the super fan club, the button is below this video next to the subscribe button. Don't forget about the merch shop, arturisfanclub.com slash shop. And uh, that's it for me. We'll talk again very soon.